All right, Shalom, Yashirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakudash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakudash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone, who still guard us to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Heruel, and Shalom, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shayar Shirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, and the Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And the name of this lesson is going to be called, Do We Care for the Two Thirds of Our People? The Two Thirds represents the majority of our people, man. Of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and also you Israelite foreigners, according to the CDO fathers. And the answer is no. No, we do not care. You know, we're not concerned about what happens to the two thirds of our people because they're wicked, man. And, let me, and that's scriptural. So I'm about to get it. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, going to the point, verse 13. Um, matter of fact, I started verse 12. Matter of fact, I started uh, verse 10. This is the book of Second Ezra, now verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Exactly the fame, the riches, the money, cars, clothes, you know, hoes, man. They sold out, right? Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, the word loathe meaning feel intense dislike, so pretty much hate, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Exactly, see? So they despised the reproof and correction, man according to the Bible that the prophets are teaching. Verse 12, the same must know it at the, at the death by pain, man, torments, judgment from the Lord, right? Verse 13, and therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Exactly, because the two-thirds of our people are not concerned with the Lord. You know, especially these celebrities, uh, those of our people that got a lot of money, you know, they got the cars, they got the riches, they got the fame, they got the women. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're not concerned about the Lord, man. So we ain't concerned about them, you know? And it reads, uh, because those that are enemies of the Lord are enemies to us, man. Uh, let's see. This is Second Edges 9, verse 13. And therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created, man. You know, so, hey, man, you're not supposed to care about the two-thirds. You got these Israelite groups out here that's talking about, oh, we're supposed to love the two-thirds, or we're supposed to unify, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be in unity, man. But, hey, man, listen, man, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man, you know? We're not about to hang with no two thirds, man. You know. So, <laughs> you know, what what fellowship does the godly with the ungodly, man? You know, concerning the false Israelite, this is concerning the Israelite groups out here that's teaching false doctrine, man, and they know it. You know, and we got a couple family members, and we got a couple friends or whatever that we still. You know what I'm saying? They pretty cool to a certain extent. But I'm referring to the, these wicked, wicked niggas out here, man. You know? So, uh, this is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 7. It's like here. This is Jeremiah 7, verse 16. And it reads, Therefore pray not thou for this people, need to lift up cry, nor prayer for them, man. Why? Why is that? Because they're wicked, man. You know, they're rejecting the words of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I know every time, every week, I watch uh, the Elder Manatha Zakbaz, uh, uh, a live stream. You got the uh, the, uh, the Apostle Raka and the elders out there in, uh, in Springfield, Connecticut camp. And what do you hear in the background, man? A whole bunch of niggas ramming their dog on bikes, man, while the word of the Lord is being taught and brought out. You no, know, this 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 dad gonna be in a bunch of demons, man. We supposed to care for them, you know. 
You got sodomites. You know what I'm saying? You got murderers. Come on, man. You know, we're supposed to care about the majority of our people, man. You know? Uh, and it, this is Jeremiah 7, verse 16 again. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry, nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee, man. Hey, Amen. So the Lord ain't dealing with prayers about for the two-thirds, man. You know, we see um, these uh, women or these men, you know, killing their kids and whatnot. You, know, you got these women of our nation aborting their children. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to pray for a, a, a individual or a, a multiple, a, a multitudes of people in that type of mind state, man. You're smoking weed, selling drugs, smoking cigarettes, man. You know, just doing everything that's against the scriptures and not giving a, a, a world about it. But we're supposed to pray for them, man. Absolutely not. You know, absolutely not. These are the same, these are the same people that uh, if you invite them to your house, you know what I'm saying? They'll rob you, man. They'll rob and they'll kill you just to get your uh possessions, man. You know? And furthermore than that, these are the same two-thirds that told Pontius Pilate to crucify our Lord, man. You know? They chose Barabbas over Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? They choose the, our people choose the celebrities and the uh the higher ups of this world over the Lord and the scriptures, man. So we ain't supposed to pray for them, man. You know? So, um, let's go to the book of Baruch, right? Let's go to the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, meaning this Bible, and the law that endure forever. So that proves that the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible are still in effect, man. But that's another video for another time. Lord's will I get to that. All they that keep it shall come to life. What's that life represents? This knowledge, this truth, man. You know, out of the fear of the Lord, right? But such as leave it shall die. That's the best represents the two-thirds, man. Those who have fallen out, who was doing the work, you know what I'm saying? They fell out. They went back into the world. They're doing all type of uh, abominations, which is a wicked, filthy acts now. You know, hey, man. They gonna be destroyed, man. And guess what? We're gonna praise the Lord. You know, we're gonna praise Yahweh Shimi Al Shah for bringing judgment upon our people, man. You know? So, uh, and I remember, man, when I was uh, first coming to this truth, you know what I'm saying? Watching the Hebrew Israelites back in high school, man, you had something called, uh, what was it called? Um, back when I was listening to those black unconsciousness movement it was called hebrew israelites on trial man you know and i remember uh seeing apostle rakai in the uh the, the acumen out there in chicago you know what i'm saying that was like hey man to hell with two-thirds man you know what i'm saying the, the apostle car said i'll never forget it apostle car said he said when a, uh when a little nigga gets shot down in the street he said i don't care man and that's the right spirit to be in you know that's the right spirit to be in. As a matter of fact, let's get Proverbs, the first chapter. This is the book of Proverbs. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the point. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, start at verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So how did the Lord shut out his hands? How is the Lord calling to our people? Through the prophets, man. Who he really his secrets to to teach the word correctly and directly. Verse 25, but ye have set at naught all my counsel. Set at naught meaning they disdained it. And the word disdain means to hate, you know. And it says, uh, so they disdained the counsel of the Lord, which is the prophets, and with none of my reproof, you know. So the Lord, so they didn't hearken, man. They didn't want to take correction according to the scriptures, right? Verse 26, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mark when your fear cometh. Yeah. Fear represents terror, man. So the Lord sent that terror to our people and judged them, man. Hey, man, we're going to laugh and mock. We're going to laugh and mock at that, man. We're going to praise the Lord. Verse, um, verse 27. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, 
when distress and anguish come up upon you. So we're going to be praising the Lord, man. You know, as the Lord judging our people, whether wherever judgment he sees fit to uh, judge our people with, hey, man, we're going to praise the Lord, man. You know, we're not going to feel bad. You know, our people are wicked, man. You know, the men, women, and the men, the women, and the children, man. You know, of the two thirds, man, we ain't concerned about them, man. You know, so they with that little window was edified to next time. Let's say Shalom.